What's good? What's squad? Hey, look, with the changes to King Kane, I know it's hard to figure out what's the best place to land for loot, but don't worry, I got you. Now, I will say all these places are based off my personal experience of playing the game, and I've been playing the game since season one, so I think I got a little, a little I know a little something, something. But if you guys have a different top five, I would like to know down in the comment section below. Now, look, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and drop a like with your forehead. Each and every like helps get the channel in the recommended page, which means more people get to see the channel and then I can finally hit 10K together with you guys. So, you know, that would really mean the world to me. And I don't know, the brother might cry on stream or something, you know what I'm saying? But you know, without further ado, let's get right into this video. Coming in at number five, it's Labs. Now Lab is a good starting spot to loot up and get a few early kills. The best thing I personally like about Labs is it's two parts. You can loot up outside, then you can rotate inside like there's plenty of loot for your team like you are bound to find your weapon combo in labs you know and then after you that you can push the teams in capacitor because nine times out of ten people land in capacitor and you can push a team and clean up and boom you right there you should have three four kills off the bat now if that's not your style and you don't want to push the third party you also have a portal that's another way to escape you know, just in case if somebody's coming through labs from the top, you can escape through the portal and you can rotate towards cage, hydro dam, or swamps. Now, a lot of good people use labs as a good starting point because that way they can get a lot of first early kills. They can rotate to some good some good loot places because hydro dam is pretty decent, swamp is pretty de decent, but I, I still I think capacitor is one of the best to rotate to to kind of get some early kills but every situation is different so if there's no team to push in capacitor don't push just rotate the capacitor loot up or rotate wherever else you feel best or wherever way the ring is going coming in at number four is capacitor now capacitor is a lifeline main dream come true here you have three charge towers meaning you have three chances to get a purple shield instantly pretty much and a bunch of loot in all these buildings that's surrounding the three charge towers now you're guaranteed to walk out there fully geared up but please be careful because you're not going to be the only person there a lot of teams like to land there because of this same reason so you won't be the only person now if you end up being the the, the last team standing you have a lot of kills in your pocket you'll 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 guarantee at least three four kills but you have to be careful because people will rotate from labs people will rotate from swamps people will rotate from rigs and they might catch you off guard and you're back in the lobby but at the same time you can also rotate front to rigs or artillery or even labs depending on a way to circle you know just to rack up some kills and get some more loot but i do believe capacitor is a top five landing spot in season five for apex legends coming in at number three is rig now rig is a new addition to the map along with capacitor now what makes rig a good spot to land in it's a charge tower in the back of the map now with a lot of good loot I mean, and it's in the back of the map. It's a decent landing spot to land to first. Now, if you're running duos, you should come out pretty kitted. If you're running trios, maybe one person won't be as kitted as the rest of the team. But that's okay though, because with landing here, you have multiple spots to rotate to. You can rotate to swamps, you can rotate to labs, and you can rotate to capacitor. Now, the reason why I suggest rotating to these three places is because one, most likely nobody has went to swamps. I don't think many people land in swamps anymore, so a swamp may get a remake, hopefully. Labs, people are gonna land in labs almost all the time, and people's gonna always land a capacitor, so you can always push these fights, and you can just take their loot, and you can be fully kitted. Now, be mindful of rotating into these areas, because these people might have purple shields, get guns and everything so you have to rotate carefully but uh yeah that's why red come in at number three coming in at number two is salvage now salvage takes the place of skull town and i can honestly say this is my least favorite drop on the list because it's instant butt clenching instant booty clenching gunfights as soon as you land now there is not enough loot to go around here but it's not meant to loot up it's meant to get a gun maybe a shield and push a third party that's what makes this landing spot ideal for high kill games now you do have the ability to rotate from salvage to market you do have the ability to go from salvage to octane gauntlet if that works for you you know but 
that doesn't work for everybody. Everybody don't want to go there. You feel me? But I do suggest if you're new to the game and you're not good with close quarter combat, you're not good with find a team early on i suggest dropping there now i'm not saying you're gonna win every fight you're not you're gonna lose you're gonna get murdered you're gonna you're gonna die you're gonna get slaughtered but what you learn from that is the experience and if you land at the back of the map every single game and you run around with a purple shield the whole game and then you, um, the moment you run into a team you die you learn nothing and you waste 30 45 minutes of your life if you're new to the game, you're trying to learn how to handle these situations, and you land right in Savage, boom, yeah, you you might die 9 out of the 10 of those times, but you learn something, and if you die, you die within like 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and boom, you know what I'm saying, you go back to the lobby and try it again. That's why I suggest Salvage is a top press plan. Or if not, you want to 1v1 me, hey, my Twitter DM's open, what's up, I'll do it back. Coming in at number one is Octane Gauntlet. Now, Octane Gauntlet is Sweat Central. It is the new Skull Town. You're guaranteed to have at least three teams drop with you, but they do have good loot, though. You can kill out an entire team, but you have to handle fighting multiple teams at the same time. Now, what makes this drop number one for me is the ability to rotate to airbase, salvage, market, or bunker. You have plenty of places you can rotate to from this area depending on ring position, gunfire slash gunfights, and whatever else you seem fit. Now, if you're going for a super high kill game, this is the spot. Like, this is the spot. This is go-to, guaranteed, butt booty clinching, fighting, multiple teams, third party, fourth party, fifth party pushing. This is the place. But if you're new to the game and you can't handle all that, don't land here. Do not land here. I repeat, if you're new to the game and you can't beat one squad, do not land the Octane Gun because you're not going to beat three or four squads. And uh, yeah, that's my top five uh, best places to land in Apex Legends Season 5. Let me know what is your top five places to land down in the comment section below. I'm excited to know. Also, if you enjoyed the content, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more Apex content. We on the ground of 10,000 subscribers and it will mean the world to me if we can accomplish that goal. So it's free to subscribe to the channel and it's free to like and it's free to comment. So hey, can you please do that for me? And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.